Ever wondered how you can use keyboard inputs to control animations in Animate CC? Today I will show you how it's done. One of the most frequent questions in my Animate CC classes is how can I use keyboard events in Animate CC? So I've decided to make this little video for you guys, showing you how to do it. In this example, I wanted to use arrow keys on the keyboard to navigate through this vector scenery. So left and right keys should move the scenery through the viewport to the left and to the right. And I will use the up and down keys to zoom in and zoom out. Let's take a look at the project. There is no animation on the timeline since we will create the animation via script. All you need to notice here is that the entire scenery is encapsulated in a symbol with the instance name scenery so that I can refer to it via script. Let's take a look at the code now. After saving the current context in the variable sim for use in the functions below, I will first of all add an event listener to the document to listen to any key down event. Note that you need to register this to the document. Stage or this won't work here. I then call a custom function I named handle key down that contains the entire logic. With event which, I can get the information which key was used to trigger the key down event. So I can create simple if clauses to define the appropriate action. If you feel more comfortable using switch cases, that works fine as well. So left and right arrow keys, for instance, return 37 and 39, which is pretty handy since I can use this information to determine the direction. I simply subtract the event which value from 38 and get either 1 or minus 1. I then multiply it by 10 to get decent steps and update the x value of the entire symbol using the createjs tween method for dynamic animations. For the zoom in and out animations, I simply subtract or add decimal numbers to both scale x and scale y of the symbol instance. I have decided to make the zoom out faster as I find it more convenient. But of course you can use the values that suits you best. Well, that's all for today. I hope I could give you some new perspectives and insights and feel free to leave a comment or post any questions you might have. Stay tuned and subscribe for more videos and tips and tricks for interactive web animations. And don't forget to check out the free downloads on tourdeanimate.com. Happy animating.